Hi, and welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. My name is Vanessa, and today I would like to share with you a shop with me video. Today we are shopping inside the Galleria of Arts and Antiques, and I'm giving you a little show of um, my shelf that I have, and there's the shelf next to me. There's the Christmas tree that the owner puts up and puts or sells all her vintage ornaments. There's some candles that I usually buy for people for gifts. They have several cases up front by the cash register. And then this is the booth right across from my shelf. So I'm just giving you a, um, just a little look-see of everything. I do have a couple of favorite booths. One is on one end of the store and one is on the other end of the store. I'm zooming in on that um, um, horse there. I thought that was vintage but I didn't want to look at it close enough to get any closer to it so this is the booth next to that again just making sure there isn't anything that I wanted now that I think I might have forgotten to pick up I might have wanted to pick that up it was um eight dollars hand crocheted tree if it's still there when I go back maybe maybe I'll get it. And I was looking at this. I thought this was really cute. You know, blue is my favorite color. So I was thinking, but at 150, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to take that home with me. All right. Here's the booth across the way. I'm trying to give you a look at absolutely everything in the store. Hopefully I'm not moving too fast or um, making anybody dizzy, like maybe right there. Um, this is my first voiceover. Look at those ping pong balls. I thought that was fun and those bathing beauties there in the back. Now, this is the booth where I usually get my son a um, vintage license plate. He's trying to collect all 50 states, so I was looking at those a little bit. But this is one of my favorite booths. Now, I looked at this set before, and I believe it's a hobbyist. And the price was pretty good, $24, but it was a hobbyist set, so I wasn't positive that I wanted it being a hobbyist set. I'll have to think about it a little bit more. I thought this was cute, but also a hobbyist piece, so I did leave that. All right, what's next? She's got several things in this shelf. And what, I think I found a couple of Santa Clauses. Now this one... um. I wasn't sure what it was. It might actually also be a hobbyist piece. There were several hobbyist pieces in the booth um, today, but this was very cute. I don't know. I just like it. It was metal and I believe ceramic, but it was only, I think, $1.25. So I did end up bringing that home with me. Don't know if it's going to be for keep or for sell. thought this was interesting, all those older kitchen items and now over here are a couple of little itty bitty figurines i think they're both cats i think that one might be a dog maybe but they were only a dollar a piece so i was like why am i hemming and hawing about getting these little figurines for a dollar each i might as well just get them and then this was only a dollar 25 each these little cut out reindeer so i did get those Let's see what else we can find. Those fabric trees are interesting, but I thought they were priced a little bit higher than I wanted to pay. There's an old Singer sewing machine and a bucket of buttons moving around. I believe this vendor has changed. So a new vendor is in here. I really like these green um, little votive holders. There's a three piece set small, medium, and large, and for the set of three, $14. Is that what I say? Or was it 24? I couldn't see. But I did end up getting them. I thought about this little girl, but I thought she was too high at $8. I don't want to pay $8 for her. She was a pin, a safety pin, little angel ornament. Okay, I'm looking at that little flock Santa. I do like the vintage Santas, but he was stuck in that pot, so he didn't get to come home with me. Then the next vendor is a 3D printer. So she made some, or he made some little gnomes and some holiday Christmas trees. 
my um my nephew does 3d printing so i was looking at that for him oh i forgot to pick up the marbles they were only two dollars vintage glass marbles i sold a set of 90 marbles for i forget how much and then found this little cute elf i do believe that i picked him up i think i did i can't remember what's his price only three dollars i'm pretty sure i picked him up i'll do a haul later maybe after this video all right this booth let's see if anything catches our eye there's a blow mold santa there and then i'm coming in to look at these little owls they're like patriotic owls so totally not the season for them and they're 550 so i did not pick them up even though it was, a, it was an okay price all right we're only in one little nook of the store this little nook that's behind the cash register but in here i see a couple of vintage what i believe are flocked um at least one of them is a flocked santa so i'm getting a closer look at that and his face i wasn't sure about his face and six dollars and i believe the one in front of him also six dollars so i decide to leave those shut the cabinet and move on i like the tree and the little ornaments the vintage ornaments but oh and there's some hand crocheted placemats but i move on because i guess i'm not interested and then i'm just peeking into this booth seeing if there's anything that catches my eye those blanco i think that's what they're called thirty dollars for the set of those but didn't want to get those and i'm just looking to see what else they have in here it's got a lot of milk glass and some art glass but i wasn't really too fond of any of the art glass pieces so just checking the far corners there's a tree for a little bit more than i would like to spend I usually get my trees at garage sales or goodwill all right passing another booth i don't usually poke around in that booth too much and then in here i thought these penguins yes right there thought these penguins were very cute handmade out of wood penguins little hats on top and then i see some more license plates and i forgot to look exactly how much they were or what they were so i didn't get any of those so my um son is not going to get any license plates this trip maybe next trip there's homemade honey and teas in the booth right by the front door hmm. and there was me in the mirror oh some what are these called i forget what these are called not cookies Oh, they're Native American. I forget what they're called, but those were a little bit pricey. I think they were $30 each. So we've got a couple of primitive booths, which I don't usually go into. Don't usually find anything that I want. So I'm just looking to make sure they don't have the odd item that I might be interested in. Now this tree back here little bit interests me i am looking for one of those vintage um silver trees but i haven't found one in the price that i like but this one was battery operated probably led so passed on that and then here's another led tree 32 dollars. i guess it's not a bad price if you want it for yourself this red um christmas dish was nice then the one next door let's see this one was pretty um cluttered with stuff and i usually do poke around in there but the as you can see the um the owner of that booth was restocking so we let her do that and then i did on a second run go into this booth because i found a santa uh, like a roly-poly jingle bell santa but i didn't get him because he was priced he was priced i think at 30 dollars but I do love Coca-Cola and I do love Vintage Santa. So I had to look at this, but it was a little bit more than I wanted to spend. So didn't get him. 
And then right here is a goat's milk um, soaps and lotions, and she makes candles. I get my niece's um, presents there, a bunch of precious moments. And then here at the opposite end of the store is my second favorite booth, or actually it might be my first favorite booth. So I found some Department 56 um, Christmas trees. I did end up getting those. I think they were eight, eight dollars a piece. So she had two of them, so I got those. And then I was looking at that um, Mrs. Claus and Santa Claus salt and pepper. I think I've just sold a set of those, but she wanted $10 for those. So I left those. Then I saw this art pottery cat. Now it had um, like some paint loss. It was a bank. And I think it was only $10, but I didn't pick that up today. I wasn't feeling, wasn't feeling the art pottery cat. And then I see a little left in Angel. She has her wings, but I didn't want to pay, I don't know what it was, $10 maybe. Well, look at this. So my children were born in Russia and I get them little Matryoshka dolls every year. So that is definitely going to come home with me. It was, I believe, $18. So they were like, I think $6 a piece. And I'm checking out her jewelry. Nothing's catching my eye. And then this booth, as a winter sale of 20% off. There was a couple vendors that were having nice sales. So I look at this, what do I look at? Oh, I look at this um, Santa Claus, but it's a bell and it didn't say it was from anywhere particular. So I look at this Lennox, um, baby Jesus and a child. And then I do end up getting this Lennox um, trinket box. I believe it was $8. Don't know if that was a good price or not, but it was 20% off, so that makes it a little better. And then I do end up getting these, what are they, gnomes, elves? I don't know. I thought they were fun. I think there was $6 for that one. And let's see, is this one four, three? So I did get those. I just thought they were fun. And the Santa was very heavy. I didn't know if it was hobbyist, but it had felt on the bottom, so we can't really can't really tell for sure so i wasn't really interested in what price it was and then this i thought was very sweet very kitschy and vintagey let's see what the price is here we go can't read it maybe you can read it but i decided to pass on that and then she's got some ray done and then my daughter just sent me a actually a picture of somebody else's uranium with the black light display and so I had to take a picture of that and send it to her. A bunch of Fitz and Floyd but I already have several pieces of Fitz and Floyd canopy plates so didn't want to mess with those. There's a silver tree I forgot to look at. It looked more modern not the super vintage like I'm looking for so that's probably why I passed it up. So this booth I found something once in a while so I'm looking at this Santa but he's very heavy and he's felt it on the bottom too so I didn't pick him up let's see moving around the corner there's some blow molds another shopper customer shopping so I want to get him on video now they said they're having a sale on the blow modes so I do go walk around to the back and see if I can see the price on the blow molds. I do have one blow mold that I think I got for $10 at the Menagerie. So these ones don't seem like they're really on that much of a sale to me. So passing on those, see if there's anything else. Oh, this little Santa. So he's like fur covered and I believe he's flocked, but I did not want to Hey, oh, he's got a jingle bell. I did not want to pay the price right there. I didn't I didn't feel like paying $16 for him, so I left him right there because I almost tripped on something when I was trying to reach him up high, so I left him right there with the other Santa. All right. Now, this couple more um nice wooden Santas is like I'm finding all the crazy Santas, all the unique and different Santas. So $22 for him. He was heavy. I believe it was hand carved. I can't remember where he's from. And then some more hand carved Santas, but I don't pick any of those 
up and bring them home. They just weren't speaking my name. Now this vendor um, makes her own candles and out of like the beeswax. So she has a bunch of beeswax candles. All right, this next booth has some more blow molds, but they're usually more pricey. And I believe this is the booth that usually has a lot of art glass, but they didn't have art glass this time. Another tree, ceramic tree. I'm trying to give you both sides of the aisle. It's another older Santa, I guess. But, oh, here we go. Some salt and pepper Santas. Now these were marked $3 each, but apparently they were $3 for the pair. So San or Santa salt and peppers, they do have some paint wear. They're made in Japan, so I did bring those home. Let's see, oh, and then over here, this Joy Santa. He reminded me of the Annalise um, dolls and elves and whatnot. So it did not have an Annalise tag or anything, but I did bring it home because it reminded me of it. Now this, I forgot to bring home. I just thought it was cute. It says loves on the back, so I'm not sure where it came from, but it was just a little critter dressed up in a Santa outfit. I think it was only $2 too, but I forgot to bring it home. This I thought was interesting, very vintage. I believe it's a decanter with the glasses, but it was $50 and I didn't want to pay $50 for it, especially without any discounts. A lot of the booths at the Gallery of Arts and Antiques do not have discounts. So only once in a while do you find a booth with a discount. And when I do find a booth with a discount, it does make me happy. Just saying. All right, I pick up this vintage Santa candle holder, but he's very heavy. Also, he has felt on the bottom, so I can't exactly see where he's from. There's a wooden Santa. Not a bad price, but I leave him. I don't bring him home. Another Santa that um, just a card. Here's another crazy Santa. Hmm. All the crazy Santas. And there's another one. What do we have? Oh, fun foil Santa. I can't, couldn't really see the price from my, because I'm short. Couldn't see it. So left that one. Oh, another clay. Looks, those looked like they were made out of two clay pots. Somebody hand painted Santa's face on one and turned the other one upside down to make a hat. I think I've looked at this several times before. It's only $5, but I think it's got a crack. It's got a crack on it. And then I see this felted Santa. And I like the felted Santa. He's on sale for $8, but he had a lot of felt that was gone and missing so I did not bring him home but he was a nice size nice size felted Santa all right move around to the next booth and I'm looking at this um puzzle snow white puzzle I don't end up getting it and I was like uh should I look for the price I guess I'll look for the price so I look at the price and fifty dollars so no way, I didn't want to get the Snow White puzzle for $50. So move around to the other side. I see a couple of Matruskas that catch my eye, but they're a little bit more pricey than I want to pay for them. And those ones are more common. The red with the flowers are more common. So I leave those. Hope I didn't make it dizzy. And we're ending up in our last booth. Now I like this booth because it has a lot of art glass and they're having a sale 50% off. So I do pick up one item from here. Those catch my eye, so I like those. But I end up bringing home this green rose bowl and it says that it's Blanco. And I believe at 50% off, it was only $18. So for under $20, I got a piece of green Blanco. And if it doesn't resell well, then I will sell it in, or I will keep it myself. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, current subscribers. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Everybody give me.